Hello once again, Brigadiers. Welcome back to Footy Raba. Last time we went on a quote-unquote date with Yuzu to the arcade. <clears throat> and then we had another successful encounter. And uh, right now it's lunchtime on the day of that successful encounter. So we're going to have another one maybe after this. Uh, all our morning classes are now finished. So it's lunchtime. Hmm, job, you say. Nani? <laughs> Have you gone nuts, dude? No. He just wants to get gainful employment so he can pay for his own stuff. What's wrong with that? Nani, son of a Oh, well. You're talking to a couple of guys <clears throat> who only have one purpose in life as of right now. And that's to find girls. Uh, it should be pretty obvious. I mean, the national representative for all of Japan's shut ins, Ally you, uh, IE you, excuse me, uh, just suddenly said he wanted to work. He doesn't attend school regularly now, but his attendance record for last year was quite the pitiful sight, to say the least. He'd refused to come to school for the most mundane of reasons, such as feeling sleepy, not being able to play games at school, or wanting to watch TV. And that would happen quite often. Wow, dude. <clears throat> I didn't like school either, but I didn't have... I wouldn't have chosen stupid reasons like that. I'd have legitimate reasons, like, you know... Sickness. So eventually, when his attendance record got into the danger zone, Justice came to me and Genki. Basically got us to drag him to school. Yeah. <laughs> and it apparently worked. <clears throat> it's gotten into you. Are you the kind of guy who hates working at jobs so much that you'd actually make fun of people that do have them? Hmm. But I Yep, <sighs> can't live the, li the life of a of a neat forever. Uh, yeah, what uh, what's the manga? Yeah, <laughs> you're not kid. That's a good question. <coughs> Excuse me. Five hundred bucks? Wow. Oh my baka jane no ka? Son da ke morate de kane tari ne to ka? Do you kinsen kankaku sten da yo? Seriously? I mean, well, okay, with your with your hobbies, it it could be easy to blow five hundred bucks in a month. But seriously? <clears throat> but like, what the fuck? What does he spend all that money on? Dude, he just said games and manga. Oh, wait, I forgot about his pets. Factoring in pet food and all the other stuff they need, I guess it isn't too unimaginable. I could help you find a job if you want to do part time. Uh, what kind of place are you looking at? Mmm, to me. Oh, huh. uh, Momo, my friend, you are in for a rude awakening if you want an easy job in this climate. Genki, back off! <laughs> Our sheltered boy Momo here is looking to... or is being a little too naive. Well, I guess it is a good opportunity for him to get an actual job. Experience like that is necessary to teach kids like him how harsh and rocky the real world can be. Oi, Sugasaki! Omae baito sagasteru no ka? Ah, justice. Perfect timing. Sensei, boku ni demo sakutto dekisou na nanka rakuchin na baito nai desu ka? Sensei, koitsu seken o name sugi nan desu. Recommend him the hardest, most backbreaking job you can think of to teach. <laughs> Ah, 
Store cashier, huh? Well, depending on where the store is located, it might be a snoozer at night. <laughs> oh, this ought to be good. Mazu! <laughs> コンビニ店員の仕事はレジ打ちだけだと思ってないか。基本的にコンビニ店員は他の職種より客から上から目線で見られる。おまけに基本は品出しとレジ打ちを並行してやり、さらに客の入りが多いと各種クレームの対応に
two video games at one time, a visual novel and an RPG. I think that's what you said. So you're like the uh, toddlers in The Sims 4 who have the clingy trait. I see. Huh. I never do that. マジで単純でいいのなら倉庫行けよ。どこでも人が足りなくて募集してるぞ。ああ。おすすめは夏場の飲料倉庫だな。決まったエリア内のコンビニやスーパーに大量のジュースを出荷する倉庫だ。そこ
舐めてるとマジで死ぬぞ何せポケットに入れておいた目薬は氷おおほほほジェルで固めた髪なんか一瞬にしてバキッと折れてハゲになるからな<笑> God, Justice, you're scaring the shit out of Momo. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> After having terrorized Momo adequately, Justice takes his leave. Seriously, what has that guy been through? He'll have a lot, apparently. <laughs> Looks like he's had a lot of peculiar life experiences for our normal teacher. Mystery only grows deeper inside of me with this episode. <coughs> yeah, have fun with that. Wait, I can get you doing something like handing out tissues at the main square by the station if you're fine with that. When it comes down to it, all jobs are tough to a certain degree. But yeah, naturally, even I'm swearing to myself that I'll never work a job like that. Yeah, wow. <clears throat> okay. Alright, it is time for another afternoon chat with Yuzu. Alright. So, I did hobbies, I did chatting, and now we're moving on to romance. Specifically romance 2, even though I didn't do the first one. Alright, see what we got. Uh... Do you think star-crossed lovers are still a thing? Or what do you think of I'll go with this one. Uh, what do you think of me? I, that's what I'm wondering, actually. Just wondering how I come off to girls and, well, you happen to be the closest one. You haven't sugarcoated anything up to this point, so why are you gonna start now? The hell are you telling me that for? Now I already know you're gonna say something awful. Fine, give it to me. Lay on the truth, Hiragi. I'm ready. <sighs> yeah, sounds about right. Uh. Oh, you know me so well, Hiragi. You know me so well, Hiragi. I know that because you didn't say I was funny or something. Of course. But honestly, you wouldn't have said those things about me if you didn't know me well. So in that sense, I'm kind of happy. You say that only proves how well you understand me on a subconscious level. Well, it's my interpretation, at least. It'd make me happy. Uh... Okay, not sure if that went well or not. Uh, ask me. Ask me about my private life or my hobbies. Uh... I asked her about her hobbies, so... Why don't we switch it up a notch? Or switch it up a bit, rather. Ask her about my private life. <clears throat> Any questions about my private life, Hiragi? Well, nothing too personal. Maybe just what my favorite manga is, or what I do first thing in the morning after getting up. Why, well, yes, I do. Thank you for asking. Uh, I'll read manga or play games late into the night a lot. 
型っぽい気がしてたけどやっぱりそうだったんだじゃあいつもあんたって何時に寝てんの Never slept a minute in my life. That's bullshit. At midnight. Normally at midnight. Staying up any later than that usually screws me over next morning. Yeah, but I try to limit that to strictly weekends. Uh, kinda. I feel bad for my mom when I don't get up in time for breakfast. And if I don't have breakfast, I'm starving until lunch. She has a point, you know. Oh, well, yeah, but I'll still be hungry waiting for dinner. This is why I try to make a, ha make a habit out of going to bed at midnight. I guess so. Hey, alright. Success. Alright. After taking a long bath, I dry my hair and get it back to my room. I make a habit to absolutely not put on any clothes after taking a bath until my body cools down. Makes sense? The winter, summer, or whatever, doesn't matter. I'm always completely naked after taking my bath. It's my personal credo to, to not even put on boxers, let alone any sort of light clothes. Okay, you're getting way too in depth about this. Ah, crap, I'm nodding off. I'll often fall sound asleep in this state if I stay in it for a little bit too long. Farewell, me of yesteryear. From henceforth, I will be a new me. I'll turn the lights off in my room and fall sound asleep. Here's hoping that tomorrow turns out to be an even greater day, day than today was. Indeed. May 1st. How many days did we skip? Okay then. Just as sure as taking his time today. I guess their staff meeting must be running a little over or something. Kids in the other classrooms are standing in the halls as well. Chatting away like it was a break time. Golden week, uh, is that it? Someone tell me what Golden Week is. I've heard of it, but I don't know what it what it celebrates. Yeah, I'm sure. What exactly do you have a mind when you say have a blast? Oh, this ought to be good. Whoa, Momo, you're, uh... You don't do that with fireworks. Oh, yeah, that, that's what I figured. Uh. I don't believe that for a second. Oh my god. Nantoka <laughs> You were never a lead singer of a band. Yeah, I didn't think so. And by dream, you mean lie through your fucking teeth. Yeah. Hi. 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 Thus began another school day. These lead ups are getting shorter. 
Anyway, back with Yuzu. Okay, now we did hobbies, chatting, romance, and ask me. Now we do something. Uh, um, huh. This ought to be fun. He lied. Okay. Um, stare or smile? She'd probably get creeped out if I just went... Gee. So we're gonna smile at her. They say good fortune comes from those who smile. But how much do you gotta smile to get that good fortune? Oh. I guess sarcastic smiles are out. So we're sneering smiles too. That's what I'm wondering. Just some obvious examples of smiles that'd be out. So, I think a beaming smile or a casual smile would be better. Yeah, got a point. Guess I'll just look it up. <laughs> uh, that's a that's a good one. I don't have to shit, okay? You can read me like a book. Um Uh, I don't want it to shit, okay? What about smiling screams diarrhea to you? If I had that, I'd be frowning. Oh. Okay. <laughs> don't say that. It's the fucking face of despair. <laughs> You could say that. <laughs> uh, very perceptive. Ah, eh, just your imagination. Well, anyhow, this conversation's over. Let's merrily move on to the next one. Alright, uh, pets. Uh, do you like insects? No. Did you know you can legally own a giraffe in Japan? What? Alright, let's hear this one. <laughs> uh, did you know you can legally own a giraffe in Japan, Hiragi? The biggest le land mammal you're allowed to keep. <gasps> God damn. There's a bunch of conditions you gotta meet though, like uh, there's a permit you gotta get, and the giraffe has to be quarantined when you import it. Yeah, that makes sense. Did you want to have a pet giraffe when you were little? All the animals in the zoo, huh? Wow. No, this is, uh, great. You're making progress. Ah, no worries. You're smiling like a little kid on Christmas. It was a nice sight. Maybe I do, maybe I don't, but it's still adorable. Chill, I'm not teasing you. Besides, I'm sure I'm pretty sure everyone had a dream like that as a kid. So, so? Not all you could do. <laughs> Wouldn't raising a giraffe be so much work? I mean, 
Just think of having to feed it and finding a place for it to go to the bathroom. There's something that's been kind of bothering me. Ever think about how big giraffe shit must be? What the fuck? No! <laughs> oh, you think giraffes eat rice and bread? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you think giraffes eat rice and bread? Really? I'm not seeing what's so cute about that. Uh, I did not. Oh, yeah, I get it now. But I legit have no idea what they eat. Oh, thanks. You know a lot about the Suragi. Explains why you got all hyper when I mentioned being able to keep them as pets. Ah, oh, you'll be fine. Hey, there's no shame in that. Tons of people love animals. At the very least, my opinion of you, opinion of you hasn't changed one bit. Oh, that time already, huh? It's feeling like time flies whenever I talk with you. <laughs> Guess that's what happens when you're having a blast. Nice. Baka! <laughs> Oh, that's a good one. Nice, looks like I'm on a roll, yes! <laughs> oh, lunch break is here. A lot of the girls in our class bring their lunch, as a matter of fact. When the weather's good, like it is today, they'll go to the courtyard and eat their lunches there. Oi! Meishi ikouze! Gotcha! As for me, well, I'm getting lunch in the cafeteria together with the guys like usual. Okay. And now it's time for our second conversation of the day with Yuzu. Let's take a look. Uh... It would appear we have the same choices from the last time. And neither of them have changed. Uh, now let's see what they say. See what she says about this one. Did you hear that they put out new flavors of lollipops, Hiragi? Oh. Ooh, okay. Uh, what flavors do you think they are? That was a little surprising, so I was curious to see if you could guess it. I'll just say it goes in a different direction than previous lollipop flavors. Oh. That doesn't sound good. You don't have a limit to your guesses either, there's a shootout anything that comes to mind. They already have tiramisu flavor. They do. You're getting pretty warm with yams and sweet potatoes. Ugh. 
<laughs> you actually went with a distinctly Japanese flavor this time. Soybean, black and white sesame. Ugh. Neither of these sound good, but... <sighs> Fuck it, soybean. It's soybean. <laughs> oh, but I haven't told you the best part yet. They mix it with brown sugar syrup so it tastes like you're eating a proper Japanese style dessert. Ooh! I've never actually had uh, black and white sesame or soybean anything that I know of. That actually sounds pretty good. Oh, we got her going now. <laughs> right? Well, when I saw them, I got so excited. You can probably find them at any store that carries a decent amount of flavors. Oh. I'll look for some too, and if I find any, I'll buy one for you. Seems like you're really digging this new flavor, huh? Ah. That's what I'm talking about. Alright. Um. <sighs> well, since we're going. We're trying to. Get her to be with us at some point. Do you think star-crossed lovers are still- yeah. Do you think star-crossed lovers are still a thing? Yeah, basically two people who aren't meant to fall in love. Isn't the concept pretty popular among girls? Uh -huh. Oh, really? Personally speaking, I think relationships like that are kind of dreamy and romantic. I imagine it'd be absolutely dreadful, but if, like, they were my friends, I'd want to support them 100%. <laughs> yep, and I believe you're the only country in the world that does have an emperor. I think. Uh, let's see. I'd like to see a Princess Yuzu. I mean, I would, but she's probably not going to go for that. Uh, what would you do if I was a king? What would you do if I was a king? <laughs> what kind of terrorist answer is that? Love would never blossom between us in that world. <laughs> Uh, hmm, after thinking about it, a love story between a king and his kidnapper could work. What do you think? Yeah? Well, according to the... Uh, uh, excuse me. According to the Psycho 6 song called It's Just a Movie, Stupid, that whole Romeo and Juliet thing wouldn't happen either. But I'm pretty sure it already has. Why not? King getting kidnapped is a crazy enough plot to device. Just go with it. Because I myself am a random person. You just gotta deal with it. Oh, it's that time already, huh? Nice. I feel like time flies whenever I talk with you. <laughs> eh, I guess that's what happens here, having a blast. Ah, yes. The happy Baka. Gotta love it. Nice. Yep, we're on a roll. Alright, what, what are we doing next? Another day of school is over and done with. Alrighty. Guess I'll just wander around the building now. There's no fun in going straight home. Oh. 
あんた今日これから暇えい,いえ、not doing anything really。じゃあ決定。私たちと一緒にゲーセン行かないこの子がさっきから遊べ遊べってうるさくて。Hmm. Arcade. Well, not gonna have anything else to do. It'll probably be fun. Sure, I'm down. We can play against each other and whatever. I head through the entranceway with Mochizuki. And. Ayabe. I think that's what her last name is. Uh, I thought about inviting Genki and Momo too, but they haven't replied to my text, and I'm sure as hell not trying to hunt them down. Bastards. Yeah, I know. Pretty much been playing stuff at my, at my house recently. And I came here with Yuzi the other day. I mean... There aren't many arcade exclusive games anymore. You can pretty much play any, everything at your house, save for car games and the ones you're super large, or that are super large, and need you to use your body for something. Apparently, at one point in time, fighting games were only playable at arcades, but we're talking before I was born with that. Oh, yeah. Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, etc. <laughs> どれもこれもワンプレイ200円ってどれだけ強気な価格設定なのかしら It's only two bucks. I think it's pretty normal pricing these days. Fighting games and mecha versus games are only 100 yen a play though since the matches are short. Newer editions and the Korean games have always been a bit pricey. このカードゲームなんてワンプレイ400円よ Four bucks for a card game? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, wow. Card games are special. If you get addicted to one of them, you could easily blow almost a million yen. Fuck. <laughs> if you're good at buying and re reselling cards, you could make some good money on the internet. IOA doesn't come to arcades much. Well, to her, seeing places like this where you have to drop cash to have fun are probably a new experience. Do you play games much, Ayabe? <laughs> Don't need it. Yeah, that's a no. Uh, answer yes or no, please. <laughs> uh, How old are we talking here? Mega Drive, Dreamcast? PS2. Now, Ayabe feels like the type that spends her time reading reference books. Far cry from the likes of us. Though she does seem pretty smart, so I can see her being super good at games without even playing them at all. Yeah, where did she go? Eh? Oh, I think I know where she is. A point further inside the arcade. She's down there playing a rhythm game with a huge crowd surrounding her. Oh. She must be doing rhythm heaven or something. Or, not rhythm heaven, um. DDR, that's it. Whoa!すっげえ!なんだこの子は!画面を見せにすべてパーフェクト!おまけに最高レベルの曲を最速設定でプレイするとは! Oh, She's completely in sync with the song. She's hitting everything at the exact right time. Good God. Over the duration of this single song, hundreds of notes fall down, yet she manages to hit every single one effortlessly. Yeah, that's... That sounds like DVR. Yep. It's the most simple and popular rhythm game out there. And if you're wondering how she, how she can play without looking at the screen, that's because she's memorized all the songs. Good Lord. <laughs> She's entirely unconcerned to the point that she has time to look back toward the crowd and give it a wave. Show off. Her form and style are so top notch that even the girls of the vicinity are watching with awe. Yes, Kuria! Hmm, hmm, hmm. Do you? Udeva nibutte nai desho? 
guess not. Just no. We're both creeped out. <laughs> There's also the fact that you memorized all the songs right down to the note sequences. Wow. She must have a lot of time in her hands. <laughs> yeah, look at look at this little cat face that Rina has going on. <laughs> okay, now you're just now you're really showing off. Sickening. <laughs> Why? A giant invisible wall exists between ordinary people and those who play rhythm games. And even amongst those who play those games, Positive Mochizuki is somewhat of a godlike figure. What do you mean, somewhat? For, for people not in the rhythm game scene, like me and Ayabe, there's something scary and inhuman, inhuman about people who aren't seen good at rhythm games. Well, it's not a new feeling. Oh my god. Hyper at four times? Fuck me. <laughs> well, if you want to be a game connoisseur, you kind of have to be at least that good. Uh, be afraid, Ayabe. Be very afraid. Ayabe takes a few steps back from me this time. The hell, Ayabe, don't lock me in with her. Well, you're here too, so does that, what does that make you? Again, you're here too, so what does that make you? Agreed. But you're a little on the crazy end. I mean, you even comp competed at the national level, wow. Even so, that's... that's amazing. <laughs> What's more, she took home first place two years ago. I seem to remember the internet being in a complete frenzy over the fact that a girl won. <sighs> Going with air hockey, are we? Alright then, bring it on, ladies. If I win, you gotta buy me a drink. <laughs> sure. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thus begins my match versus the two of them. Is that all you got? Weak sauce! Yeah, that is kind of sad. <laughs> Reflexes are everything in air hockey. Something I don't have in my arms, yet I have them in my fingers. Uh, it's only natural that the pair of them would be crushed under my prowess. It has to be a perfect harmony to even stand a chance. This is gonna be an easy win. I'm invincible at this game! Oh yeah! 16 points, baby! What's wrong? How, be, how come you aren't saying anything back? Whereas you can't even beat me in a 2 on 1? Okay, dude, you're really uh, going a bit far there. Oh! <laughs> Wait, violence is not the answer! You'll kill me! Why shouldn't I? I'm on my own. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 
ちょっとマヒロあんた何言ってるのよ Will you now, Ayabe? Think I'll be swayed by something like that? とか言いつつあんたの片手でやろうとしてんじゃないわよ<笑> Sadly, my mind works this way when I'm a guy. Wait, why am I trying to figure out how big Mochizuki's tits are? <sighs> And now he's staring right at him. <laughs> Better or worse, Mochizuki is like an open book at times like this. Her reactions are so innocent and cute, it's hard to judge Ayabe for wanting to tease her so much. Why doesn't Ayabe have a root? Holy cow. I feel like I could sleep for two old days. My body is seeking repose. Guess I better go ahead and get to sleep. Nice to me. We skipped an entire week? Alright! That's gonna do it for another rousing episode of Furry Raba. We'll get to hopefully uh, advance to dating Haragi soon, considering we're going well with the hallway chats and uh, until that happens and until next time don't be a dick to your significant other stay in school don't be a dick to your friends especially in a public space and keep on rocking